All right, there's a couple tricky things uh, in this particular assignment that I wanted to show you. Uh, and pardon any background noise, I'm doing this while my kids have remote school. So I apologize in advance. So um, once we have, I've already made my word mask a compound path or compound object when you do under compound path make. Um, so I'm going to select the rectangle and the mask and I'm going to make my clipping path or clipping mask, sorry. So now we have our mask. So now the book tells you to select the original rectangle and when you kind of hover over the edge here you can see the original rectangle. This is where it gets tricky. I'm clicking and as I'm trying to click or drag and select like it's not letting me, right? So the trick is, is you don't need to click the outline because it won't let you because it's behind the mask. So what you need to do is see how you can, if you go to the edge of your word, now you're selecting the edge of the letter. But if you go to the middle here, and the difference, see the difference there with the M, and now if you go to the middle, the highlight of the original rectangle shows. So you kind of have to actually hover over what's showing rather than the edge. Uh, the book doesn't really tell you that, which is not exactly helpful. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab this little squiggle, align it, give or take, here like the book says, and then I'm going to cut it. And now here's where the difference is you watch for those visual cues, the M versus the rectangle. So now we've, now we've selected the rectangle, and I'm going to do a paste in front, if I can actually get to the right, paste in front. And now you've pasted that object in front of the rectangle, which is behind the mask. So now your squiggle is behind the mask as well. And then now you can kind of do that same sort of concept with all the other objects. Obviously how the book tells you to do it, I'm just kind of randomly do it. So I'm going to select the original squiggle here. And again, watch for those visual cues. And I'm going to place that in back. So now it's behind the squiggle. The star thing is behind the squiggle, but it's in front of in front of the uh, for our magnify uh, trick, illusion, whatever you want to call it, um, here's a sort of a little trick that the book doesn't exactly tell you here. Um, so once we've made our mask, we've changed our colors, etc., etc., um, this one gets a little bit tricky too um, with how some of the updates work um, with the Illustrator and Creative Cloud being uh, cloud-based now, they throw updates out there. Um, so this one had changed. I'm going to see if I can actually get it to, to work. Um, so what we want to do is we want to show the small magnify that we had hidden behind there. So you can kind of see now we get that sort of magnify effect. So now if we select both of our um, the clipping mask that we made and the handle here, what we want to do is we want to make sure, oops, so if you use the direct selection tool to select your um, the circle for the magnify and you kind of move it over you see how it kind of bumps that and makes your circle oddly shaped. Uh, I'm going to select it with a direct selection tool and now I'm going to switch to my um, to my selection tool so now that should um, allow me to hold shift select both of the and see now it's not going to. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky um, to show that um, effect, what we might need to do is go into layers. That's something that um, you can either go into your layers, which we're going to get into next assignment, but as you see under here, when you expand our layers, we have our clipping group. Um, so we can select just the circle there, and now hold our shift select and select the handle. And now you can see we sort of get this as I'm arrowing over, you kind of get this magnify effect. Um, you used to be able to just use your uh, direct selection tool and select the entire sort of frame of the of the object, but it doesn't allow you to do that anymore uh, since the book was published. Um, another sort of trickier way to do that is if you select each, as I'm holding shift, each point of your circle there. And then now you go back to your selection tool, hold shift and select your handle. And now I'm just holding down the arrow key to show you that magnify selection. 
um, and it gives you that relatively cool magnifying effect. Um, so yeah, again, two different ways to select. You either need to select all four points in your circle and then do a shift select with the direct selection tool and uh, select your handle, or you can go into your layers here and just select that using these little radial buttons, just select only the circle there to get the sort of same effect.